I was thinking about something. Now, what is the most valuable thing to you out here on the road? What could you use more of, but you, you, you can't buy it at all? Not found in a store. What would it be to you? Time. Time, time, time. I believe can be the most valuable to a driver out here on the road. Today I just want to talk about some of the things that I do or try to do or do my best with my time management out here on the road. Let's get started. Come to Florida. Leave the freight here for me. <laughs> Man, we uh, we actually came home to drop this guy off. Look at this guy. What are you doing? Luke the goat. Yeah, so we uh came by the house here. We're on the way down to Miami. And, uh, dropping him off. Picking up Leia. And, uh, Serena's gonna stay home for the day. So we're, uh, need down to Miami tomorrow morning for deliver. And I'm gonna come back home, do my reset, and then we'll leave back out Wednesday. But, uh, so the the thing, what I'm going to try to do here, you know, I mean, the one thing you have to do is obviously you got to have some kind of plan on what you're going to do th for the day. You know, trip planning, you know, that, that's one of them. That's that's the major, major thing. Is if you're just going to come out here and just like, I'm just going to go. It's, I'm not saying you have to write down every time you're going to stop. And, you know, it's, you know, that's a little, I think, excessive, but... I mean, if you know, like, you have to be here at this time, you know, and you know where you got to go, like, you know, if you got to go around Atlanta, you got to go around Chicago, you got to go around Nashville, you're going to lose time. You know, so you have to give yourself time for that. You know, on this trip, you know, came from uh, Dallas, Fort Worth area, Friday, and uh, Friday afternoon, 2.30, we got uh, we got loaded. And we have to be in Miami at 9.30 tomorrow, Monday. So the problem that I'm having, well, it could lead to a problem, is this. Not this, not, not him. <laughs> so here, here, here's where we're at with our time. Waiting for my break to finish. And we have exactly five hours and one minute to drive. Six hours on my 14. So just to show you, so we did our pre-trip in Crestview, Florida, this morning, 2:49 Central Time. We drove. We didn't stop until we got to Wildwood, Florida, at the TA. Five hours and 11 minutes. Right there, boom, fuel. So we got fuel, then we drove from Wildwood to here is where we're at right now. All right, let's look. Okay. All right, so here we go. So, so today, so far, I've drove six hours and 22 minutes. Tomorrow, I get eight and a half hours back. Look who it is. We got Leia back. What's up, girl? Did you miss us? <laughs> Look at those nails. Ah, that's terrible. Leia's back. <laughs> All right, so look at this again. These bugs, 
man. He's love bugs. Look at this crap. If I even, if I even just turn the wipers on, it's just gonna make a mess, man. Crazy out. That's crazy. <laughs> I uh. Well, I left Wildwood. I still want to get this truck washed. I left Wildwood. I was like, wow, the bugs aren't that bad. We got like 45 minutes from the house here, and they're everywhere, man. But, um, so, so, you know, you see my time. So, basically, what we got here, like, you know, I got six, six hours on my 14, and I got eight and a half coming back tomorrow. So, if I would have stayed home tonight, and I'm only still only going to get 11 hours for tomorrow. So me thinking the best possible way to have to maximize your time is, you know, yeah, I got to drive at least another three hours, you know, three and a half, maybe four today. So then tomorrow, so let's say if I only drive three, three hours today, you know, then tomorrow I'll have ten and a half. You know, so right now we're 309 miles from our delivery. So obviously 309 there, 309 back, you know. So we have to be home, you know, by tomorrow, latest 6 p.m. so I can do a 34 and leave on Wednesday. So that's where we're at. We're gonna try to do. So, why don't you ride along with us? We're gonna like I said, well our next we'll check in with you guys when we're when we're done for the day. Where we're gonna go. So right now I'm I'm not sure if I wanna go to Fort Myers. There's a loves in Fort Myers, it's about 180 or so miles from here. Or get onto Al Alligator Alley. So that's when you take obviously 75 the whole way and and, and it heads east. So which is weird because it's still considered south so or you're going east so that's what we're gonna if I can get down on alligator alley that'll, that'll be that so let's get going all right so we made it over here we're almost to Miami here check this out about 37 miles away We drove just about about 56 minutes left on our clock. We got an hour and 50 minutes on our 14. And, uh, plus that eight and a half, so you know that'll give us what nine and a half. We'll just you know after my you know pre trips about well, about 10 hours and we'll just say 10 hours. 10 hours and 10 minutes or so. You know, for times like this, this is where, you know, you know, everything's got to go your way. I mean, there's going to be days like tomorrow could be like the worst day ever and, and everything just falls apart. You know, you get stuck at the customer for six, seven hours, you know, and that, that happens, but, you know. As long as you make your plan and you stick to it, you know, like I got to be there. Appointments for 9 a.m. You know, we'll be here. We'll be there at 8. You know, I'll leave here about, you know, I don't know, 7. Only because we got to get into Miami just a little bit. So, you know, there's going to be traffic, you know, Monday morning. So, account for a little bit of that. So, so if we get there by 8, 8.30, that'll be good. And hopefully they'll have us and you know, get us unloaded. But if it doesn't, you know, at least I knew I stuck to my plan, and I was and I was here on time. You know, basically, you, know, you you can't control, you know, the unforeseen. You, know, you, you I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. You know, I could pull out of here in the morning, and there could be a big accident, and I get stuck here for two hours. You know. You just don't know. But I do know that 
that I attempted to leave here on time. You know, that's when you kind of get up and get going and, you know, check the Google Maps and everything. See, like this here right here. Check it out. So this is part of my, my ELD. So it's like we're, we're going about over in this area right here. Just a little bit south of Hollywood, Florida. So like when you get on the you know 75 you take that across you know it's gonna be a you know tomorrow morning this whole south of Pompano Beach you know Fort Lauderdale Miami Beach my th this whole area is gonna be all messed up <laughs> in the morning so at least I know I get out of here on time and attempt to get there on time that's all we can do so We'll check in with you guys in the morning and see if we made it here on time. Thanks for being a good girl. <laughs> What's going on, guys? We are in Miami. Welcome to Miami. We're sitting here at our customer trying to get unloaded <clears throat> and I tell you about some things that can kill you and, and two of them happened today <laughs> oh man we, we talked about like time time being the biggest thing so the first thing I did I got up this morning it was still just just barely starting to need sunlight and I knew I had time to get here yeah I was only like 40 miles up the road not 930 appointment and I called and I couldn't come in until an hour before my appointment so eight o'clock or I'm sorry 830 I can be here so I would leave there like I said you know about you know 730 745 you know so we're laying back in the bunk, you know, just just kind of chilling out. Actually, I was watching some of the Provost live feed from last night that, that I didn't get to watch because I was zonked out. And uh, looking at my phone, you know, my phone says uh, it's like you know at the time it was like 6:15 or something like that. I was like, all right, well we'll start kicking around, get going up here. And, made a little bit to eat walked Leia for a little bit came back in the truck you got ready to go and I come up here and I look at the you know look at my iPad my ELD and it's um, it's, it's 715 or no 7 7 <laughs> 745 I'm like what the heck you know I should be like rolling what the heck well, apparently yesterday, or the day, you know, yesterday, <clears throat> we started the day in Crestview, Florida, Central Time Zone. My phone never changed to Eastern Time Zone. So I'm already like an hour behind, you know, so I get here. We got here at like 8.55, you know, which is still okay, but it was, I wanted to be here at 8.30. And I get here, we get, in a, get into a door. And, uh, you know, they, they dropped, you know, and I got the red light, and they, and they dropped the dock plate and everything, and and I just, you could feel when they're in the trailer. Like right now, I just felt felt them, you know. And they're just very light, walking back and forth. You could feel like they're walking around. So I go back there, and I was like, what the heck is going on? Hand unload. I got a hand unload it. That's the second thing that can kill your time. They no one said anything about being hand unload. But, you know, I guess it's some of the stuff that you need to ask. Because when they loaded it, they loaded it with those clamps. Ooh, excuse me. They loaded it <clears throat> forklift with the clamps. Well they get here, I get here, they don't have the forklift with the clamps. 
So I immediately called up the broker and let him know, hey, we're going to hit the tension. And I'm just letting you know now, because they ain't going to have this thing unloaded in about two hours. So, yeah. Unless there's like 15 guys back there or something. But time management, right? Oh, yeah, check out this cool yard truck. like a he's got like a high shifter he's got some exhaust he's got like some crazy little paint job on the side he's got tinted windows but <laughs> it's like the coolest yard truck I've ever seen but yeah time management you do your best to make everything work and in the end it falls apart so we're still good on time let's see what we got <clears throat> so my 14 hour thankfully is not you know synced up with my my drive time and everything so you know we're, we're sitting at you know 916 drive how long have we been here we've been here for an hour and 45 minutes that's what happens I guess I'll go back and kind of relax a little bit more because from here we got a five hour drive home so I don't want to make it home tonight so that would really hurt if you couldn't make it home wouldn't it that happens you lose your time Told me one guy told me that they didn't have 